Always love being back in Midtown Manhattan. Caught a Broadway show this afternoon, and now it's ready for some Rangers hockey. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Rangers will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Makes the save! Dobson stick handling in his own zone. Oh, he destroys him on the play! The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Passes it over! Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Quick feed to Romanov. Receives the pass. Wicked slot shot! And he gets in the lane to block that. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Now, they've got an odd man rush. Oh, tremendous save to shut down the rush there. Wow! Denies him again. He does a great job being such a position here. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to make that second save, James. But it's pure athleticism that gets the job done. With the puck under siege, can he get out of the zone here? Panarin's taking it from his own end. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Maintains control of the puck. Quick pass to Holmstrom. Moves it over to Pellet. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it for the block. Works it across to Trocek. The Islanders get a hold of it. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Oh, he airbailed that one. Well, he certainly did. Almost looked like he wanted to go bar down and missed by a mile. Stick save. Just got a piece of it with that one. The has got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. Handles the puck. Tosses it on to Trocek. Center feed. And that stops. Moves the puck. You gotta give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. The Rangers strike first here in the opening frame. A relatively early goal here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in, and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't. But it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead. So it's a nice way to start the game. Beatles got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Grabs control of it at the point. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Rangers have done a great job moving their feet tonight, and they lead here midway through the first. Parrots won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh. Scores! And they strike Pater once again. Yeah, they do, and their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They've got to find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. I love the way he gets the position here, James, and makes himself available to get a stick on that shot. I mean, to redirect and deflect that puck, it's not easy. Sometimes your body's taken, but when your hands are free and your stick's free, that can happen. The Rangers extend the lead by two here in period number one. Well, I really like their play up to this point in the first period here, James. I mean, they've got themselves a two-goal cushion because they've been relentless on the puck. But now it's about continuing to be urgent, not getting complacent, and sitting back, continue to attack. Loses the coverage there. Puck picked up by Schneider. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Keeps possession on the play. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Takes it across the blue line. Slides it across. Oh, close save. There's another stop. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Picks up the puck in his own end. 
the pass in front, and that's deflected off someone in front. Turn that chance aside. Scrum ensues along the boards. Puck scooped up by Pellick. Gaining momentum up along the side. Feeds it over. Too much traffic in the lane. Tries to get it over to Kreider. Dishes it off. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. The well, goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets square to the shooter in the low slot and makes the save. Slides the puck to Kreider. And now it's over to Hedo. Fires it on net. Oh, and there's a great save by Sorokin. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Moves by the check. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Well, Cheryl, already a third. It's in! He scores! Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Islanders have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They've cut the deficit within one. And now it's grabbed by Dobson. Takes the pass. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Taken along the wall by Smith. They're swarming here. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Sorokin. Here's a chance. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Kreider. That knocks him off the puck. Tries to get it out of the zone. And they get the job done. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puck moved over to Dobson. Passes it over. The Rangers gain control of it. And now he tries to get it across to Panarin. And he takes the feed. tape if it's in your feet all of a sudden you're fumbling for it and that gives the coverage time to defend you but this one it's right on the money and the goal is a result the rangers talked about getting off to a good start at the morning skate but cheryl this is next level what we're seeing it really is through the first period into the second here they just dominated the puck has been on their stick and when they're in the offensive zone they're not just on the perimeter they're finding ways to get pucks to the net he grabs the puck here at the point steps into the offensive end here's a chance great save by shesterkin even though goaltenders get set in their butterfly positioning they still have to be agile and be able to move across their crease right there that's and with that beautiful save. Picked up along the boards by Panarin. Puck grab by Truba. He's got a step. What a save by the Tindy there. Well, he's exuding a ton of confidence, not sitting back in his neck, challenges and make the save. And that's knocked away. Takes a bump but hangs on. Taken by Pulak. Great reach with the poke check by Truba. And that goes off the player. The Islanders have it in the offensive zone. And he makes the save. The Islanders pick up steam and are on the attack. Oh, what a stop! From the point, let's make something happen. Hammers it on net. Gets a glove on it to make the stop. To 
Perkins had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. He's got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he sidesteps the kick there. Here's an odd man rush. Oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Griffey's going to get two for hooking on the play. The Islanders will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Makes his presence known on the ice. Oh, denies him with a save. Moves it to Miller. Oh, look at this. Two on one. Here we go. Takes a shot. Penalty coming up here. When you lose position on your opponent and you're fighting for that puck instead of coming under, under the stick for the takeaway and you go over and you hack, you're going to get the call. Slashing it is. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-one all over. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Tries to feed it over to Pullock. The Rangers' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Skaters go off for a line change here on this power play. Break away! Big time save. He was dialed in there. Well, he has the benefit of seeing it coming here, James, so he gets himself set to position he anticipates. I think he has a book on the shooter to be truthful, and he makes a save. Heedle's ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Islanders win the draw. Angles it over to Pasho. Dog's penalty is almost expired. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Scooped into the trap of The Rangers came into this one with one thought on mind. Lots of pucks to the net, and they continue to lead here late in the second. Off the draw, they take possession. The Rangers take it along the wing. Sends the puck across. And that turns off one of his teammates in front. There's a great club save by Shesterkin. Oh, and another stop. Picked up along the wall by Pullock. Oh, look at that! Takes a whack, but still hangs on. The Islanders have it now. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Puts it on net. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. To Sirkins, aggressive and at the top of his crease, and makes an outstanding save from the slot. And you can hear these fans calling for a shot in the dying seconds. Big save, just as time runs out. And the buzzer, a big save. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, back with a third period next. You're having a great night. Two periods down. One more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Islanders' coaches are going to be telling them, listen, you got to just trust the process, stick with the game plan. I mean, through 40 minutes of play, you've dominated possession. Continue to do what you've been doing, but don't get frustrated. Don't panic and force the play. It'll come to you. The Rangers gain possession. Scooped up along the wall by Dobson. The Islanders have the puck now. 
And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Barzell's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. We'll start off on the attack after winning the draw. The Islanders play it along the boards. Quick shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. The Rangers gain control of the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to the premier. Fires it! Big time save of the one-timer! And that slides right out to center ice. He's going to play the puck outside of his crease here. Grabbed along the board by Smith. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Oh, great play to sidestep the puck check. And that's blocked away. And that's broken up with a stick in front. The Rangers fail to capitalize on the power play. A great kill and the ability to keep this game within reach. You know now that they've got the momentum moving forward. You never know what's going to come next. Here's a short pass to Hedl. Textbook poke check by Horvath. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. The Rangers have it in the offensive end. Puck picked up by Pulak. Slides it diagonally to Horvat. Cut into the front of the net. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. The Islanders have it against the wall. Puck scooped up by Rempe. Big time stop there. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Slides the puck over. Paul Marius got it along the wing. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Taken along the wall by Lindgren. And he takes the dish. Oh, what a save in front. Feeds it on over to Riley. From the point, they take control of it. And now it's grabbed by Riley. Puck grabbed by Trocek. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Paul Mary's going off for slashing. for the puck along the boards. Pulak's moving the puck through his own zone. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Sends a pass over. Picking up ahead of Steve on the breakaway. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. The Islanders get back to even strength after a huge effort by their penalty killers. Timing is everything, James. A critical... Oh, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Hammers left from the point. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Pulak's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. with another big opportunity on the power play. 
Kings, the power play has not been good tonight. It can be very frustrating, but you have to be 60. And when you already have a face-off in the offensive zone, you got to find a way to execute on the power play. You know, it's one of the most difficult things to do, but when you win possession, you can get the setup. You can get the look that you want, and that's what happened here. The Rangers continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Taken by Trocic. On the attack, they come down the right wing. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Moves it quickly over to Hornstrom. They've got numbers here. Takes a shot. Scores! Well, they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. Yeah, it certainly was. And there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have. And then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. The Islanders haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They're going to find a way to get some chances. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. The Islanders looking against the half wall. There's a shot. Oh, great glove saved by Shesterkin. Picked off, trying to be too cute on the pass. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Kako's lugging the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a shot, and he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Quick feed to Horvath. Sidesteps the check. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Here in the late goings of the period, the Islanders are down a pair. Sabinajad's won the draw inside his own end. Sends the pass over. of where the goaltender was in the net not sealed to the post and he just throws it to the net from below the goal line and gets rewarded for it. It's unexpected, but it does the job. The Rangers have been the busier team in the shot department and they lead it late in this third period. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Sports. I'm James Cebalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the ring.